bioholic in today's video i am going to talk about the second part of the chapter taxonomy and systematics which is the concept of species and the types of species so let's begin so the word species was first coined by john ray in his book historia plantarum now what is species the species is the basic biological unit around which classifications are based okay so there are many definitions of species according to different scientists among them according to john ray species consist of all individuals that can breed together and produce fertile offspring and de candolle who first used the term taxonomy defined species as a group of individuals who resemble each other and produce fertile offspring through the process of natural fecundation now charles darwin who is considered as the father of evolution described the species as a fundamental units of evolution now let's jump into the concept of species so here i am mentioning some important concepts of species and they are biological species concept morphological species concept ecological species concept evolutionary species concept phylogenetic species concept and phenotypic species concept so the first one is biological species concept or biological concept of species it is very much important because it is most widely accepted species concept which was given by ernst meyer in 1942 on the basis of reproductive compatibility of living organisms so according to him species is a group of organism which is structurally and functionally related with each other and fundamental unit of classification so species shares a common gene pool and they are reproductively isolated with each other but they can interbreed among themselves and give birth to fertile offspring okay now here are some drawbacks of biological concept of species so the first one is interbreeding between closely related species like male donkey and female horse or male horse or female donkey can be seen in natural or artificial condition the offspring such as mule or hinny or tiger or liger are sterile they are not fertile okay and the next one is this concept is not applicable in case of asexual reproduction in plants because no reproductive isolation occur there okay now moving on to the next one which is morphological concept of species so this concept was first proposed by conquest in 1978 and according to him species is the smallest group which is distinct from other such group by average means and the morphology is a set of distinct physical features of a population of animals which sets it apart from others okay and it characterizes a species by their body shape and other structural features like color voice size etc now here are some uses of morphological concept of species 
first one is that this concept is used for those species that are reproducing both sexually and asexually and this concept is also used to identify extinct species and the last one is it is used as field guides for recognizing plants and animals as a diagnostic features although there are some drawbacks so this concept explains very little ideas about species as it cannot be used to distinguish nearly identical species and those species having polymorphism which is the property of having different forms okay now the next one is ecological species concept so ecological species concept uses the ecological competition among the species now let's try to understand that same species have their same needs so they compete with themselves for their limited resources like space food resources or meeting partners for their existence and all these things is referred as intraspecific struggle by darwin now the drawbacks of ecological species concept are here is a need for the same life histories for the members of individual species and the ecological competition cannot be measured quantitatively okay now the fourth one is the evolutionary species concept which was first proposed by simpson in 1951 and this concept was aimed to include extinct species and asexually reproducing organisms which are not included in the biological species concept right so according to this concept evolutionary species is defined as a lineage derived from a single generation and maintains its own evolutionary tendencies and historical fates now the drawback is this concept cannot be applied to those extinct species which are undergoing regular changes in their shape and sizes now the fifth one is phylogenetic species concept so the phylogenetic species concept is applicable for both asexual organisms and allopatric species so according to this concept a species is a cluster of organisms which share a common ancestor and also share a recent evolutionary history so there is a drawback which is the probability of reconstruction of past evolutionary history of the species is, is very very low okay now the last one is phenetic species concept with this concept ridley in 1993 defined species as a set of organisms that look similar to each other and distinct from other sets and to identify the phenetic clusters of species which is mainly based on their degree of resemblance a simultaneous observation and statistical analysis of multiple variables are needed to be used so the drawback is phenetic species concept is not applicable in case of polytypic species and those species who are look alike to each other okay now we are talking about types of species 
so i am mentioning some important types like sympatric species allopatric species polytypic species monotypic species sibling species parapetric species cryptic species and agamous species okay now i will discuss about each species one by one now the first type of species is monotypic species according to blackwilder the species with single subspecies is called as monotypic species example is vampire tutus which is a vampire squid with single monotypic genus and also contains a single species okay next one is the polytypic species so when a species contains two or more subspecies it is called as polytypic species example tiger so panthera tigris which has several subspecies like indian tiger which is panthera tigris tigris the chinese tiger like panthera tigris amoensis like the siberian tiger like panthera tigris altaica and the jivan tiger which is panthera tigris sondaica etc now the next type is sympatric species here two or more species share a common geographical distribution but they are reproductively isolated from each other it means when two or more species share common geographical area but they do not meet with each other means they are reproductively isolated with each other okay now the examples of this type are fig fog or gopher fog now next one is the opposite one which is allopatric species so the two or more related species which are geographically isolated from each other it means two or more species in different habitat and they are geographically isolated okay so the examples are indian lion and african lion now the parapetric species species which have the geographical ranges with a very narrow region of overlap like fightless australian grasshoppers morava scura and morava viatica next is sibling species two or more than two closely related species which are morphologically alike but behaviorally or reproductively totally isolated from each other such as drosophila parsimilis and drosophila pseudo obscura next one is cryptic species so the species which are alike on the basis of observed features but are genetically and sexually they are different and they are known as cryptic species examples are african bush elephant and african elephant and there are some confusion among cryptic species and sibling species so the difference is that the cryptic species are incapable of interbreeding but the sibling species can interbreed and are incapable of producing fertile hybrids okay now the last one is agamo species so the word agamo means absence of gametes so the species which are developed from asexual reproductions are known as agamo species and they may produce gametes but fertilization does not take place in them examples are bees wasps 
etc okay so that's all for today but if you want to know more about species and speciation then you can check our another video by educator shulagna ghatok and the link is in the description box i hope it will be helpful for you now if you have any doubts or questions related to today's lecture ask me in the comment section below and i have provided the questions related to this part in the description box as a self assessment test do this and try to solve this next wednesday i will discuss about the binomial nomenclature so if you find this video helpful then please give it a big thumbs up and if you are new here then subscribe to our channel bioholic and hit the bell icon for further notification of our upcoming videos so thanks for watching till then take care and keep watching bioholic